Okay, who is excited about some fantastic mole conversions? I know that I am. Stay seated, it's gonna be a thriller. Okay, as we take a look at this first problem, it says, what is the mass in grams of 2.00 mole of silicon dioxide? Now, to help you visualize this, I'm gonna have this little thing represent a single molecule of silicon dioxide. Side note, for any serious chemists out there, silicon dioxide I recognize is more of a covalent network solid, but just go with it. And this pile of silicon dioxide molecules is one mole of silicon dioxide. Now, we are asked to determine the mass in grams of 2.00 moles. I don't know what to do, but I do know with the conversion, I'm always gonna start with the amount that I'm given. In this case, 2.00 moles. 2.00 moles SiO2. If I'm gonna set up a conversion here to cancel out moles of silicon dioxide, I'm gonna put that sucker on the bottom. And I'm looking for grams of SiO2. The relationship between grams and moles is gonna come from my periodic table, just like it did for elements. Except now we're putting those elements together to form compounds. So a quick trip to my periodic table. Silicon dioxide has the formula SiO2. You try and beat Mr. Boylan, see if you can't come up with the molar mass before I do. Silicon, boom. Oxygen, bam. I'm just gonna calculate out of this up. Parentheses. 28.086, close parentheses, plus new parentheses two times. And I'm doing two because there's two oxygen here. 15.999 close parentheses. So we've got one mole of silicon dioxide equal to 60.084 grams. So this pile of SiO2 is equal to 60.084 grams. Basically, we want to know what happens if I have two moles. Each mole, roughly 60 grams. I'm just going to take my 2.00 moles, multiply by 60.084, sig fig time. I've got three sig figs here. I should have three sig figs in my final answer. 120 decimal point grams of SiO2. Boom, we are done. 